starting this video late as hell because I wasn't gonna film it and now I'm halfway through it I'm like nah I'm gonna film this shit so my hands are dirty as hell the EK Civic the motherfucking Civic right now is currently getting a one inch raised EG subframe so it's like the second or third ever raised EG subframe and it's the first ever one inch raised one to my knowledge in the recent years who knows you know some somebody in 2016 is gonna be like, oh, my homie did that shit, but whatever, my homie did this shit, so peep it. Boom. This is where the old mount is. New mount. All cut out, painted nice. Thing is raised completely. So basically, this is all where you would scrape, right? Plated, slapped, raised up, all that shit cut out, raised up. It's basically at the same height now as my motor, or as my transmission at least. Which is pretty freaking nuts. It's now above where the floor sits. That's the floor subframe. So once this gets some kisses, once this gets scraped down a little bit, it's gonna be even higher up. But yeah, let's get this shit done. We just got the steering, or that's not the steering, that's the new axle I put in the other day. But let's, we just got the steering rack all set up and everything nice and set up. Next, I'm about to put in the lower control arms and then I'll put in the A arm, whatever you wanna call it. Let's get it. I also got 50 Ks. I got 50Ks on the front springs now. Along with the new one inch raised subframe, I got a new set of lowers made because you guys remember I scraped through mine. But these probably won't even ever touch the ground no more. So yeah, super nice welds. Shout out to freaking Stan Shack and Peter, man. He did all this crazy welding work. Bro went absolutely nuts. You can see now too, the bushing you usually, let's freaking run over to my old shit. The bushing you usually scrape through now is just that solid. This is absolutely nuts. This is the old uh, lower control arm. We scraped through that, man. You did good. You did me good. All right, guys. Got the uh, arm, man. I just got it kind of loose. And I got to take the freaking A arm, which I believe is... I don't know. I'll figure it. Let me figure out which side it is, and then we'll take the A arm and start putting that in kind of loose, too. Got everything kind of loose because you kind of have to put it all in at the same time. These are my new mounts for right here. This is a solid mount now that, that, that goes in. Goes right there. Pretty crazy stuff out here, guys. All right, so now I'm gonna put this all together real quick, this whole like section, and then uh, I'll show you guys after. All right, guys, so we got those bolts installed. It's now just the solid mount. Is that this is actually insane? Peter, um, got this shit all uh, cut out like so it has space to go all the way up. I think I actually have a little bit more front camber from this too, but we are gonna see. Um, next thing I'm gonna do, put the coil over in, and then uh, put this on, and we'll be done with this side. We now have the coil over all in, everything's tight and set up. Um, I'm gonna grab the wheels real quick and just test fit the height, because I can kind of just tell how high the car is compared to how close the tire is to these. And I've got the 50Ks on now, so we can just kind of jack this up to it and add it's uh, like it is now, kind of under its own weight. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my wheels real quick. To, the, to my grandma's car. I almost got T-boned in this thing today. It was absolutely fucking terrifying. <clears throat> Stop playing. Uh, works. With the fresh tires on this bitch. Oh my gosh. All right, so uh, I gotta go a little bit lower because they're definitely not as low as I was. I tested, tested with my fender. So go a little bit lower real quick on these coils. So we lowered it even more and I'm now I think I'm tucking more than I was before, yeah, because this is my old tuck spot, so now I'm tucking even more. And still got tons of clearance up here because, as you can see, a lot of camber added from doing this. It's probably like, it's gotta be in the 20s up front now. So this side is now done, freaking in. Uh, I'm gonna do the other side, I'm not gonna film, I'm just gonna bang it out real quick. Got the, shit's almost freaking max, shit's crazy, 50Ks. So yeah, let's get it. Let me do the other side out. Bang that shit out real quick. All right. Got this side all set up. Freaking put in. Coil over in. Put it at the right height. It's literally crazy. My lower control arms are now the same height as my oil pan. So that's pretty nuts. Pretty freaking crazy. But uh, yeah, now we just got to put these bolts in for my rear motor raise. Got to put the ding bolts in. And then uh, I can lower the rear because the rear is jacked up. And then I can align the car. And then we can drive it. We got the rear mount raise in on all the bolts, all the front suspension in. Now we're basically about to uh, 
Put the wheels on. Put the wheels on. I'm gonna grab the weights and lower the front, and then I'll jack up the back, lower those coils, and then align this shit. We got the car on the ground. It's on the weights right now, so I can still align it, but under its own weight, dude. 50 fucking Ks. This is about to be crazy. Tucking even more now up front. More tilt. Hell yeah. So, got the rear jacked up. I'm gonna max out the coilovers. They were never fully maxed. They had like a couple threads left, so I'm gonna go all the way down low now. I don't even care. I got the rear coilover lowered all the freaking way. Left the jacket back up, put it in. And then uh, I gotta tighten this bolt up too. It came a little loose, I guess. Okay, so the rears are now maxed out. You can see we tucking. Tucking past the freaking quarter almost. So, yeah. Front's all done. Now what I'm gonna do is string align this thing. Uh, I'm not gonna put it in the video because you guys have seen me string align cars enough. Y'all know the vibes. Put the string, make it straight. Yeah. Alrighty. Car is on the ground now and aligned. Definitely got a few extra degrees of camber up front. And then, as you can see, we got plenty of room now for activities. Exhaust is probably the lowest part now back there. But yeah, car's freaking, it's sitting pretty even. I might even have gained a little bit of height just with the, uh, cause the extra tilt, I'm not sure. I can definitely max out. We just gotta cut more up top. I gotta go smaller front tires, but it's aligned. I'm gonna wash up, clean up, put the bumpers on. I'm gonna get something to eat. Just like that, this bitch is back. Fucking, I'm so tired, sorry for the monotone voice. But yeah, I gotta fix all that shit, man. But hell yeah, this thing looks so fucking cool. A little bit more front tilt. It definitely pokes out a bit more up front, I think. But W fucking alignment. Fucking go whip this shit. Remember to check the tire pressure. I installed those with the bushings on the wrong side. So the whole fucking steering rack turned like that too. So I guess I'm not driving this thing tonight. I gotta fix those and put them around the other side. And then, yeah. So I'll get this thing back in the spot. Okay, big gap. It's been 24 hours. It's the next night. The EK works now how it's supposed to. Some shit happened. Don't matter. We got my car, Trevor's car, Noah's car, 1904's car, I Heart Suarez, my son's car, Waste City K, George down there, and the motherfucking SP Camry. The homies from Arizona are on their way right now to pick up the other two cars. Basically, we're driving, we're driving to Phoenix tonight. Well, I'm driving to Phoenix tonight with the homies from Arizona and their cars. So we're going to get gas, test drive the EK, make sure we're good. We're gonna go hang out at this spot, chill. Boom, got some gas. Cool little five gallons, man. Car drove great over here, it feels so good. Subframe doesn't fucking hit anything. I'm literally driving over reflectors right where my subframe used to hit. Doesn't even touch, not even at all, bro. Doesn't even touch, bro. Look at this, look at this, bro. Oh, what's up, guys? Bro, I got the fucking gas tank in the trunk. Whoa, well, no, well, we're just playing because he's about to fix that shit soon. He's doing the hard shit first, bro. Huh? Real shit, bro. Real shit, bro. Damn, in the light, all the cars look good. Fire. Hey, excuse bro's quarter. You know, shit happens. We can go get the nice side. Ah. That shit is crazy. Too bad I don't got a fucking skirt on, but I'm actually tucking out more front now. And uh, with the 50Ks, it rides even better than it did on the 38, so I'm freaking stoked right now. Yeah, I definitely got the little bit more front tilt now. Negative 20 up front. You got fucking alignment and the goat. But yeah. The OG red fenders. These were the fenders that were on the car when I bought it back in 2021, bro. So, finna run these, man. Real 2014, 2015 look right now. Man, we got hella SP cars up in this shit, man. Stop fucking playing, bro. Took over the gas station for real, for real. So we got kicked out the first spot, so we came to this other cool brick lot. Everybody's posted up. We just chilling, hanging out for real. Ain't nothing too serious. So we're back at the spot. Ooh. All right, well, act like that was supposed to be normal, but uh, we're back at the spot. Uh, car drive's freaking amazing. With the 50Ks up front, it's so good, it's so nice. Um, I can like full lock turn now with like 
something with the suspension geometry being changed. It drives so good. The car is literally dumped, and this is the subframe doesn't hit on anything. Like it, the the lower control arms don't hit anything. The only thing that hits is my floors now. It's so sick. The boys from Arizona are here, man. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> All right, bro. Time to come to mob, man. We about to. I'll just catch you guys in the end zone tomorrow, bro. Oh my gosh! First gas stop done. Car's driving great. Let's get it. mobbing right now cars driving so good roads are chilling there's some bad parts but fuck it you know who cares but yeah we're just making it slowly but surely bro slowly but surely i forgot to uh film at the last gas station but we got gas for a what is it a second time i believe a second or a third time Third time, actually, yeah, no, third time. Um, but yeah, about to do another hunter, whatever, mile stand until we get gas again. Like I said, car's still driving good. A little tired, but we gonna get through it. We gonna get through it. I'm about to go through the tow gate, right? Put the car in neutral. Here we go. I'll catch y'all on the other side. Sheesh, that, my friends, is the sun rising. Pretty freaking crazy. It's definitely not that yellow in person, but on the camera it's very yellow. But pretty crazy, bro. Making, uh, I mean, whatever time. My phone says we're gonna get there at 8 in the morning, so. got the last tank of gas that should take us all the way to the crib now sun is out full effect i'm tired we have now reached definitely the worst part of the trip these are the worst roads of the whole trip that's my freaking exhaust oh my gosh this is crazy and and just like that guys we have arrived at the new crib, new roommates, new vibes. I'm gonna see you guys in a couple hours, but I need to sleep or rest or do something. So we have now rested, and by rested I mean go to Walmart, hang out, do a bunch of other shit. Now we got the motherfucking EK. We got my new roommate Justin's, one of his many much Miatas. The other homie, Chris is fucking, uh, fucking Volvo. It's cool. Probably most of the BMW. This full Alvin's GTI, bro. Chris in the static club. But hey, wait, yo, look, wait. Hold up. Wait, hey, yo. Hold up. Hey, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Motherfucking twins. Yeah, hey, static club, bro. Yeah, static daily. So we about to go to this meet. Let's get it. Pabs. Oh yeah. This is sick. I don't know where the other homies went. Kind of lost them. Oh shit. <laughs> at the meet i'm not really filming anything because i don't want to be known as the guy that pulls up for the first time and is filming a youtube video looking like a dickhead so i'm not really gonna film but all i'm gonna say is these guys got rentals at the fucking meet bro. we're heading home now back to the crib ski probably finna end off the video there if you guys watched the video i love y'all thank you for supporting of course rolls royce was on everything new stop playing stickers on the way once we all get settled and shit out here but yeah w video crazy video it's been a crazy 48 30 55 hours i don't even know how long i've been up i just want to go home and sleep bro so i'll catch y'all in the next